What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is no one y'all coming right back at you with yet another, yet again, a Star Trek Fleet Command video. Today we are going to cover the G4 miners. I had a gentleman himself send me all the images. I will post, uh, put his picture up on the top left side of the screen so you guys can see it. It is K14S. He provided me these videos so we can go over them all, show the video of each miner individually and then cover their information about them and we'll go from there i know people want to see them i think they're cool personally a lot of us may not be able to reach them for a while but at least we can see what they look like and actually enjoy them so let me swap to my main screen so we can see it and click and let's go with the hydra is the first one so we will cover the i hydra for right now and we'll watch the video the Hydra is a monster of a ship. I heard it is the size of three vortices. It is just ungodly huge. But the look of it is amazing. It's saucers, it's it's storage units, it's amazing. But the write-up on it is way better, honestly. It is really informative, it is really something else. I can't believe like the write-up on it is just amazing. I'll, I'll read it as best of my ability as I could because we all know no one shall get read well out loud. It's one of my faulties. All right, let's look at the ship. It is just a beast of a ship. It is like, cause we, we're usually used to the same looking miners across the board from the, well, from the Horizon to the Antares to the Cave Art to the Valdor, I believe it's called. And they all look about the same. They're all just different skin and that's it. Now these miners are actually just different style, different look, different everything. It is just, hmm. Some guys are gonna want to want to see the stats. I just, I'm really more excited for the write-up. So, it, so at the first level, it's 120% to mining rate on gas. So I'm gonna guess that's reflective of both uh, G3 and G4 gas. So I'm not really a big fan of just the basic breakdown of stats. When you come down to the impulse, the impulse speed, the warps are where I'm interested. Warp range 75, cargo capacity 800k at the beginning, protectors at 14 slow, and then here's where we want to see. So the USS Hydra is a Federation's answer to the aggressive Klingon raids on the mining operations. The Hydra is made up of three conjoined saucer sections that can be separated at any moment's notice. Through only a rearmost saucer, oh wait, through only the rearmost saucer has access to the cells, the, the other saucers are fitted with smaller, almost imperceptible impulse engines allowing each section to make their own escape in the event of attack, living up to the name of name. As long as one head survives, the Hydra never truly t is be taken down. That's honestly cool to me. It's so, it's saying, you have your main one that's probably the same battle and the rest will just split out, but we ain't gonna see that in game. It's just cool to read that. All right, let's move on to the next one. Let's go down to the Klingon Bakor, Bakor. I don't know how to pronounce it. This one to me looks like just a bug of some type. Just a small insect. It is an interesting one. It is something that is... Mm. See where the nacelles are up front versus in the rear. Your cargo capacity is under, on the sides. It's There's a lot of compartments. I believe it said that 17, but we'll look at it when it comes to the end of the video where it shows it. So the crystal mining rates are reflective of the same as the Hydra, 120%. And I'm assuming that's for both G3 and G4 resources. Mm. There's the back of the ship. You see the impulse engines in the back. You have the nacelles in the front. I believe those are nacelles or they might be actually cannons, phaser cannons. It's a hard tell. It is an interesting looking ship. I don't know where they're coming up with these designs, what movies they're coming from, what series they're coming from, but they're there. So we go through the stats. So if you guys want to look at them, compare them, I'm just wanting to see the basics, the ends of it. And the hull, the health, the impulse is the same, warp range is the same, cargo caps the same, protect is the same. They're all reflective with each other. So we're getting to the end. And right here, was where we want it. With hostiles on the rise, the Klingon Emperor Empire knows that they will need this to protect their pro precious mining operations. Sneering at the Federation trickery and the Romulan's cowardice, the Empire have designed the ship that will guarantee their economic dominance. The Bacor 
This gargantuan vessel features 14 compartmentalized cargo holds for strong materials. Each one is uh, protected by a 7 inch titanium hull. While their enemies flee at the first sight of the danger, the Bakara will stand strong. Dude, these write ups, man. They are really good. Now let's go down to the last one. Let's see, I didn't read the name beforehand. So it is a Ramen Vorda Vor. This one is the far most interesting. I, I thought the Hydra was interesting, but the Vortivore, it's a reminiscent of a normal Romulan design. You have that wide body, kind of like the Legionary, the, well, I can't even remember the other one. Let's move on. But it has just a reminiscence of just a Romulan design. It has the front end bridge like the Legionary does. It is just a crazy one. And tomorrow, we're, I think we're going to cover the Romulan 2 ships and then Day on day on, I'll be covering each one individually so you guys can see it and just see the ships. I know a lot of us aren't going to see them, and this is why I'm doing it. So at least we can see them because no one under 39 can see them, and I'm not 39 yet, which I think is just amazing to me. Well, that we can't, we they're amazing ships. I'm just annoyed we can't see them, which is quite annoying. The ship is just monstrous. It looks cool. So which one's the bridge, the front or the top? That's what stripped me out. This guy gave me some good views of it. Good, good belly views, good booty views of it. It is a very sexy looking ship. It is very interesting. Same thing, 120 mining rate for the ore. It reflects across the board. Stats are probably not going to stay the same across the board besides the basic utility part. So the warp's the same, capacity is the same, protects is the same, mining rate's the same as it starts. So, boom, this is where we want. Efficiency, granular. Dominance. The Vortivore encompasses all the qualities and more. Fitted with the experimental X-72 mining laser, state-of-the-art ionized dilithium impulse engines, the Vortivore excels at extracting materials quickly while attra attracting as little attention as possible. While the Federation is busy defending their miners from the Klingon's empire, it's monstrous Bakor, the Vortivore will secure uh, securing all the materials needed to ensure Romulans will maintain their Places in the leading force of the galaxy. These ships are just amazing. They impress me. They're something else. I just wanted to show you guys this video. Remember to thank my boy up top, Mr. C1 K114 himself. He is awesome. He gives me the information I need when I, I request it. It is amazing. Remember, guys, to like, favorite, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Remember, there is a Discord link down below if you guys want to join my Discord. There's a donation link down below if you guys feel free to donate. You don't have to. But I love you anyways. Remember to stay positive, people, and have a wonderful day.